Hey, what's up guys, Tom here, I hope you're doing great. So today I'll be showing you guys how you're gonna create your 3D text in Cinema 4D. And after that, we're gonna go to After Effects where we're gonna do our color grading. I'm also gonna show you guys how you can apply this crack, whatever you call it, in Cinema 4D. So now let's just go back to Cinema 4D. And I also just wanna show you guys my final render. This is what we're gonna have as our final render. This is what we're gonna get. So it's really simple and these techniques are I hope it's really gonna help you guys to create good stuff. So let's create a new project and then we're gonna go to more graph and then more text and then objects. You can just type in anything you have in mind. I'm just gonna go with cinematic, cinematic and then fonts. You can use whatever font you guys prefer. So let me just have a look at what can capture my attention. So right now I'm just gonna go for all right, I'm gonna choose this one and I'm gonna change this to bold. All right. And one thing I wanna show you guys is that for you guys to have reflection on the edges, you have to make sure that your caps is there. You need to fill your caps. So this, the caps are gonna have it at one. It's really important to have your caps. It's gonna help you guys to have more reflections on your, uh, on your object. So don't forget to add that one. So now we have our caps, we have it at one. And then I think we're good to go. There's nothing more to add. If you want to add, it's up to you guys. So what we're going to do, we're just going to make this editable. And then we're going to preview all our objects that we have here. We're going to bring them outside. And then we're going to go to connect object plus delete. And then this one, we can delete it. All right. So one thing I want to do real quick is that let me just apply now any object. Let me just apply any shader on it. Just going to apply this one. Just going to bring it here. And then we're gonna go to reflect tanks. We're gonna change this to GDX. Gonna bring the reflection strength a little bit up and we're gonna bring the roughness down. And then we're gonna close this one as well. And then we're gonna change the color to a bit bluish, just a little bit. And then we're also gonna increase the brightness to about 150. Increase a little bit more. Let's go to unread. All right, so now let's just go down here a little bit. Let's just go down here. And now let's go to, I think we're gonna go for iron. It's a bit dark, we're gonna increase just a little bit. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, as you can see on our edges, we're getting a little bit reflection. Why? Because we added our caps. So now we're gonna apply lights. It's really important. At first, I was struggling with this. So, as you you need to apply as much light as you can just to have the kind of looks that you are going for. So I'm just gonna leave it here. And you can see on my edges, I'm getting those are uh, those reflections. Why? Because you can just add as much light as you can. Just gonna bring this a little bit. Just bring it down a little bit, maybe up here. All right, and one thing I really enjoy doing is that, let me just add more lights. Just gonna see, just here, another one. I'm gonna bring it in front. And then we're gonna bring the intensity to maybe, yeah, all right. And one thing I really love to do is to use the sky. You're just gonna bring the sky. And then you can just apply any shader to it. Just gonna bring a shader. And then let's see what we can do. We're gonna uncheck this. Reflect, reflectance, we don't need it. And the luminance, we're gonna apply any texture that we have. I'm just gonna go with, I'm just gonna choose any that I have in here. I'm gonna go with this one. All right. So now this is what I have. And then I'm gonna use the Cinema 4D tag, compositing tag, and then and check scene by camera. So this is what we have. Let's just preview this. Gonna have a look at what we're getting now. As you can see, guys, we're getting our reflectance, we're getting the, our edges being reflected by the light. And then let me just go to our settings. I'm also gonna add ambient inclusions and also this one. And then let's just wait for it to finish rendering. And as you can see, and this is what I'm getting. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna increase the reflectance a little bit to my to my shade. I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit, but right here. And also here, I'm gonna bring it to 250. 
just gonna bring it down a little bit all right let's preview that and as you can see it's quite different from my previous one and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have to play a little bit with our lighting and see what we're gonna get I'm just gonna bring this a little bit up All right, let's preview that. And now we're getting a total different look. And then let me just go back to my to my sky here. And I think I'm just gonna maybe bring another textures in here just to see what the different we can get. I'm just gonna bring out this one. All right, let's preview that. As you can see, I'm getting a totally different look right now, which is really amazing. I really like this one. So I think this is good for me, guys. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to bring this to After Effects. I think we're good to go. I'm just going to bring this to After Effects. Uh, so now we're just going to go to our uh, output. And I'm just gonna increase the size. Just gonna increase the size. All right, 150. And then this is just gonna leave it like this. And then you're gonna choose where you're gonna save it. And I'm just gonna format. I'm gonna go for PNG. And I'm just gonna find a place where I'm gonna save this one. Because I have the other one as well, so this one I'm just gonna go for zero three. All right, and I'm gonna run this one. Just gonna wait for it, and then we're gonna take it to After Effects. All right, it's done. So what we're gonna do now? We're just gonna close this down, and here we are in After Effects. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna look for it. Just gonna go to my files. Um, every then I'm gonna go to Cinema 4D. Then we're just gonna bring it to After Effects. Just gonna wait for it. All right, there we have it. So I'm just gonna open a new comp. Let me just change the size of this comp. I just like to make it a bit small. Just gonna bring it here. And also we're gonna have to apply an adjustment layer. And then we're gonna go for curves. Curves. I'll bring this a little bit up. Bring it down just a little bit. All right, and then we're also gonna use this, um, this preset is really amazing. If you wanna add, if you wanna add more details or to increase more, um, more quality to it, I'm just gonna go for 150. <clears throat> all right let's just preview that i think we're good to go so one thing that i did was i just duplicate this because i don't want to really want to see the black uh, background so we're gonna use this preset it's a luma key i think it's luma key and then let me just check this out i'm just gonna bring it to about so we're gonna bring it that one all right so now we can apply any background that you have in mind i'm just gonna go with any color i think this one it's all right i'm gonna bring it back here and then now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna duplicate this and i'm gonna apply a tint apply a tint to it and make it a little bit bluish just about here and now we're gonna change the I'm gonna change the mode to soft light we're also gonna bring this down it's just a little bit all right and i also added um what i would call this uh, f uh optical flare just gonna call this flares i'm gonna add an optical flare from video copilot just go for effect and then video copilots optical flare 
and then options and then we're just gonna check i think i'm gonna go to this one now let me just look for something else I think this is good to go. So we're just gonna make it transparent. And then we're also gonna go for screen. All right, just gonna bring it here. And then we're gonna rotate it to just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now we're also gonna scale it to 150. And we're gonna bring the scale down just a little bit. Maybe we want to bring it to 50 and we're going to leave it just here. All right. I think we're good to go. So now I'm just, I'm going to show you guys how you're going to add those crack. So if you want to add any color corrections to this one, it's up to you. Just wanted to show you guys how you can have this cool, uh, 3d text and to have your reflection on the edges, which is really important and how to also have enough lights in, in cinema for it to get the look that you want so how we, what i'm gonna show you guys right now is how you're gonna get those crack on your uh on your 3d text we're gonna go to more graph and then we're gonna use this uh this effect from uh, cinema 4d i'm just gonna bring this here all right there we go so now we're gonna go to source we're gonna check this guy out and then we're gonna increase the point amount maybe to 200 now that's quite a lot just gonna leave it to 200 not 2000 200 still big but i think we're good to go and then and then we're gonna use an uh we're gonna use an effect tool which is random now we just destroy all the whole things so just go back yeah we're gonna bring all this down we're gonna bring it down and then from here we're just gonna increase a little bit maybe one you just go about maybe five I think two it's okay. All right, let's go back to this effectors and then we're gonna preview this and this is what we just get. Let's just say, let's just have a look at it. And there you go guys, this is what I wanted to show you and then I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe because next uh, for the next tutorials you can see on my YouTube channel this is a new tutorials that I'll be showing you guys how you're gonna create this unique uh, cinematic title and I hope to see you guys there. See you, check you guys later. Bye.